kids' educational games. Hi, welcome to the course Put on Your Thinking Cap. You are here to learn about mean, median, and mode. Hi, I'm Weather Wanda. I'm here not only to tell you about today's weather, but also to explore new things about numbers with you. Have you ever wondered how to find the middle number from a series of numbers, or calculate the average of a series of numbers? I'll tell you how easy it is to calculate them all. Come on and join me to meet the three M's, mean, median, and mode. What is the highest average temperature in a given region today, and what is the lowest? To answer these questions, look at the chart of highest and lowest temperatures for different cities on the screen. Mean. The mean is the average value or number of the given set of numbers. Average equals sum of values divided by total number of values. Median. The median is the middle number in a list, sorted in an ascending order or descending order. Mode. The mode is the value or number that appears the most or the maximum number of times in a given list. Now that you have seen the highest and lowest temperatures in different cities, can you tell me the average highest temperature recorded in these cities today? To find out the average highest temperature of different cities, you need to calculate its mean. Look at the formula for calculating mean displayed on the screen. To calculate the mean temperature from the table, add the highest temperatures of the four cities, 22 degrees Fahrenheit, 24 degrees Fahrenheit, 22 degrees Fahrenheit, and 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, divide this sum by the number of cities, which is 4. Therefore, the mean highest temperature of four different cities is 22 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's try an exercise now. Click I'm through when you are done. Now look at the list of lowest temperatures in the temperature chart. Calculate the mean from the given list. Select the correct answer from the ones below. A. 20. B. 16. C. 18. D. 14. B. 16. Congratulations! You've got it! The formula for calculating the mean of a given range of lowest temperatures is the sum of values divided by the total number of values. Therefore, the mean of lowest temperatures recorded in four different cities is 16. Can you tell me the middle temperature from the given list of highest temperatures? find out the middle temperature from the list of temperatures, you need to calculate its median. Look at the formula of median displayed on the screen. To calculate the median temperature for the table, follow the steps displayed on the screen. The median is the middle value in the given list of temperatures, which is 22. The median shows that two cities have temperatures lower than 22 degrees Fahrenheit, and the other two have temperatures higher than 22 degrees Fahrenheit. Have you ever wondered how you would calculate the median from an even list of numbers? Yes, you are right! To calculate the median for an even list of numbers, you need to follow a different method. Look at the method displayed on the screen. The median for the given list of highest temperatures recorded in different cities is 21 degrees Fahrenheit. The median shows that three cities have temperatures lower than 21 degrees Fahrenheit, and the other three have temperatures higher than 21 degrees Fahrenheit. 
Now we'll play a game. Click I'm through after you've played. What's the median for the lowest temperatures shown in the table? Type the answer in the box below. Median of lowest temperatures, 16. Bravo! That's correct! To calculate the median in the given series of temperatures, first arrange them in ascending or descending order. Next, select the middle number from the sorted list. The median in this case is 16 degrees Fahrenheit. Can you tell me the most frequently occurring temperature in the list of temperatures shown on the screen? The most frequently occurring temperature in the given list of temperatures is the mode. Look at the formula for calculating mode displayed on the screen. To calculate the mode, follow the steps displayed on the screen. In this case, the mode is 22 degrees Fahrenheit. Note for the learner, it is possible to have no mode at all in a given list. For example, 16, 14, 28, 35, and 46. Here, there is no mode. Similarly, it is also possible to have more than one mode in a list of numbers. For example, 13, 28, 56, 72, 13, 28. Here the modes are 13 and 28. Let's try an exercise now. Click I'm through when you are done. Now look at the list of lowest temperatures in the table. Calculate the mode from the given list. Select the correct answer from the ones below. A. 28. B. 18. C. 16. D. 14. C. 16. Congratulations! You've got it! The mode of a given list of temperatures is the temperature that appears most in the list. Therefore, the mode of lowest temperatures is 16. We are done with calculating the mean, median, and mode for a list of temperatures. Hi, I am Sporty Tom, your sports program buddy. I am sure you all love to watch various games on TV, and so do I. I am here not only to discuss the scores of basketball games with you, but also to explore new things in math. Have you ever wondered how to find the middle score from a series of scores, or calculate the average of a series of scores? I'll tell you how easy it is to calculate them all. Come on and join me to meet the three M's, mean, median, and mode. Did you watch the basketball game that was telecast on Friday? Do you remember the final scores of the game? I am sure not all of you basketball lovers would have seen the match. Therefore, to help those who missed the match, let's revisit the final scores of the game. After looking at the final scores of the basketball game, can you tell me the average score for the game? To find out the average score of the basketball game, you need to calculate the mean. Look at the formula for mean displayed on the screen. To calculate the mean, add the final scores and then divide the sum by the total number of matches, which is 4. The mean basketball score for this game is 11. Let's try an exercise now. Click I'm through when you are done. Given below is a list of final scores. From a basketball game, calculate the mean of the final scores. Select the correct answer from the ones below. A. 15. B. 16. C. 12. D. 10. A. 
A. 15. Congratulations! You've got it! The formula for calculating the mean of the final scores of a basketball game is the sum of values divided by the total number of values. Therefore, the mean of the final scores of the game is 15. Can you find out the middle score from this list of scores? To find out the middle score, you need to calculate the median. Look at the formula for calculating median displayed on the screen. To calculate the median, follow the given steps. The median of the given list of scores is the middle score, which is 24. The median depicts that in two matches, the team scored more than 24, and in the other two, less than 24. Have you ever wondered how you would calculate the median from an even list of numbers? Yes, you are right. To calculate the median from an even list of numbers, you need to follow a different method. Take a look at the method displayed on the screen. The median depicts that in three matches, the score was above 25, and in the other three, it was below 25. Now we'll play a game. Click I'm through after you play. Calculate the median from the final scores of a basketball game displayed on the screen. Type the answer in the box below. Median of final basketball scores, 16. Bravo! That's correct! To calculate the median of the given series of final scores, first arrange them in ascending or descending order. Next, select the middle number from the sorted list, which is 16. Can you guess the most frequently occurring score in the list of scores displayed on the screen? The most frequently occurring score in the given list of scores is the mode. Look at the formula for calculating mode displayed on the screen. To calculate mode, follow the steps displayed on the screen. The mode here is 10. Let's try an exercise now. Click I'm through when you are done. Now, look at the list of final scores of a basketball game and calculate the mode. Select the correct answer from the ones below. A. 18. B. 12. C. 14. D. 20. C. 14. Congratulations! You've got it! The mode of a given range of final basketball scores is the score that occurs maximum number of times. Therefore, the mode here is 14. We are done with calculating the mean, median, and mode for basketball scores. Hi, I am Foodie Phil, your Food Channel buddy. I am here not only to show the variety of dishes that we offer you, but also to explore new things in math. Have you ever wondered how to find the most common order from a series of orders, or calculate the average of a series of orders? I'll tell you how easy it is to calculate them all. Come on and join me to meet the three M's, mean, median, and mode. Can you guess the numbers of orders of some of the most popular food items over there? Look at the table displayed on the screen to discover the number of orders for some popular food items. Now that you have reviewed the total orders received for some popular food items, can you tell me the average number of orders in the restaurant in a day? To find out the average number of orders on a particular day, you need to calculate the mean. Look at the formula for calculating mean displayed on the screen. To calculate the mean from the given table, add the number of orders and then divide the sum by the total number of items, which is 5. The mean number of orders received on a particular day is 26. Let's try an exercise now. 
click I'm through when you are done. Given below is a list of number of orders from the shakes and dessert menu of a popular food chain. Calculate the mean from the given table. Select the correct answer from the ones below. A. 18. B. 16. C. 14. D. 12. C. 14. Congratulations! You've got it! The formula for calculating the mean of number of orders of the desserts and shakes menu is the sum of values divided by total number of values. Therefore, the mean of orders here is 14. Can you guess the middle number of order from the list of final orders? To find out the middle number of order, you need to find the median. Look at the formula for calculating median displayed on the screen. To calculate the median order from the given orders, follow the given steps. The median is the middle value from the given list of orders, which is 28. The median depicts that for two items, the number of orders was above 28, and for the other two, it was below 28. Have you ever wondered how you would calculate the median from an even list of numbers? Yes, you are right! To calculate the median from an even list of numbers, you need to follow a different method. Take a look at the method displayed on the screen. The median of total number of orders is 26. The median depicts that for three items, the number of orders was more than 26, and for the other three, it was below 26. Now we'll play a game. Click I'm through after you've played. Calculate the median from the final orders of the menu from one of the popular food chains. Type the answer in the box below. Median of final food orders, 14. Bravo! That's correct! To calculate the median from the given list of final orders, first arrange them in ascending or descending order. Next, select the middle number from the sorted list. The median in this case is 14. Do you know the most frequently occurring number of orders in the given list? The most frequently occurring number of orders in the given list of orders is the mode. Look at the formula for calculating mode displayed on the screen. To calculate the mode, follow the steps displayed on the screen. The mode here is 24. Let's try an exercise now. Click I'm through when you are done. Now, look at the list of number of orders of the desserts and shakes menu. Calculate the mode from the given list. Select the correct answer from the ones below. A. 18. B. 24. C. 10. D. 14. B. 24. Congratulations! You've got it! The mode of a given list of number of orders is the order that occurs most. Therefore, the mode here is 24. We are done with calculating the mean, median, and mode for the number of food items ordered. Congratulations! You have completed the course.